Now I know you guys would probably love to see this thing running down the road, as would I, but you gotta pre-plan this stuff. Right now I'm just rapid prototyping. So possibly running it along here, up into the dash, some little vents here. Yeah, we'll see. Over here I'm trying to uh, visualize having a two and a half gallon fuel cell riding over my tire. That would give me quite a bit of luggage back there. I'll put a little wall right here, of course, so it doesn't all come sliding in the back of my head. It would be gravity fed. I wouldn't have to worry about the need to have a fuel pump. The only downside, of course, is that uh, it brings up the center of gravity a little higher. But yeah, I think that's what I might do. I think I'll order one up. Well, my gas tank finally showed up. Um, it's kind of nice. It's aluminum. It has a kind of a foam pad inside to prevent uh, fumes from gathering in case this gets punctured. It'll lessen an explosion. Nice little cap here. It's even got a little fuel gauge. But it has no petcock. I gotta get all the fittings on here. And I don't know. I'm kind of anxious to give it a try. So I did this in my last trike where I just um, used the old gas tank. And this one's in good shape. So I'm right now working on the mounts. And I'll put that right about here. It's got the petcock on there. It's all ready to go. Not my best weld job, for sure, but it'll do the job. Again, this is just probably going to be temporary. Then I'll rethink that aluminum gas tank. Okay, the gas tank's in. I took some uh, bicycle tubing, cut some sections, wrapped it around the tube, and that'll isolate the uh, crossbar there from touching metal to metal onto the gas tank. So I dug this out of my wire bin. It's an old trailer harness. It gives me 80 feet of wire. Of that 80 feet, you get 20 feet of green, yellow, brown, and white. So if you want to run a bunch of wires together, you can identify which wire is which. So you don't want to forget to put your little sleeve on before you start soldering your wire. First time I did this, that's exactly what I did. Yeah. And I'm finding it, instead of pushing them together like this, or doing a minor twist, it's the big twist that's really helping me out in keeping these guys together. I don't have any soldering wire with flux core. I'm just putting flux on it just before I solder it. It's just a matter of taking your iron and it's set. I got my mask on so I don't have to breathe this crap. Wait for it to heat up. And then there it goes. Oh, crap. Forgot to put the sleeve on the last wire. Mm. Fortunately, though, all the others will be covered, so I can just cover it up with the black sleeve, the big long sleeve, and I'll be good to go. Royal B heat gun. Nice little tip. Fell on about 500 degrees. Don't want to cook the wires. But just enough to shrink it up. There she goes. Got it. When I was cutting the chain, I just nicked that little guy right there. And you know what they say, the weakest link is where things are going to break. I was so close to getting it just right, and I was one link off. So I had to run to the store to get another master link. So it ain't going to look pretty. Two masters in there, but it'll get the job done. I give you a little packet of grease that you want to put on your little posts here on your master link. Come on. There she be. Alright. And this goes on there. And then again, this little guy goes this direction. There. Take you into your screwdriver. 
There she goes. Chain is on. Well, I just picked up a new battery, a Pacific battery. And there she be. Danger poison. Oh, my God. Hits a dry cell, folks. They gave me a little box of sulfuric acid. And that's what we're going to be doing in a moment. Let's look at the warnings here. Er, don't do that. Don't leave that on. That comes off. Well, let's see how this works. Let's look at the box here. And this says important. Read instructions for the manual before filling battery. Okay. No instructions. Lovely. Okay. Well, I guess we have to figure this out ourselves. What does this guy say? Contents de l'aquitaine sulfuric. No, it's French. Where are we here? Mm -hmm. Always wear safety glasses and protect your eyes while handling. Duh. Okay, we got that. Keep away from children, don't drink, and whatever. So I clipped a little tip off of the sulfuric bottle, put the little pour tube in, took the cap off, made an air hole, and here I am filling up the cells. Tricky business. I don't quite know how I'm doing. I think that one's full. Oh crap. I think I may have overfilled it. Yeah, it doesn't help that they've got stickers all over this damn thing. So they don't allow you to see the level. <laughs> okay, I got those filled up to the level. Now I'm just supposed to let it sit for a half hour and then add a little more and we're done. So I have this little product. It's from Dell Tramp Automatic Battery Charger. And that'll also keep your battery topped off. It's a pretty nifty little rig to have. And it's good for charging these little batteries. Hook them up for about 24 hours and they're good to go. So here you can see my choke line. So I can choke the uh, carburetor from the inside. There we go. Also, you notice this shaft coming out of the uh, camshaft. Um, so I welded this bolt on the end of the camshaft bolt. Got a little Allen wrench thing there, so I'll put a little slot right there. I actually got the blade with the blades turned in the opposite direction, so it was blowing on the motor. I want the hot air to suck away, so I put it in the vise, turned the blades the other way. So I knew I had to cut the uh, muffler tubing up to uh, get around the framing. Cut it there, realized it was a double wall, and interior tubing is one inch in diameter, which I had plenty on stock. Weld it on, weld it on that little end there. It's going to be four pounds lighter, and I'm waiting on the uh, muffler fiberglass tape to uh, keep this thing from emitting so much heat in the engine compartment. And two, I wanted to uh, steer the exhaust pipe right underneath the fan so it could also exit that heat out as it rises. Okay, the trike is just about ready to go. I got the battery charged. I thought I'd hook up some tail lights while I'm at it. This is kind of handy. The uh, wiring is going to go inside this tube here and all the way down out the end. Okay, I got my little bullet turn signals attached. They're ready to go. Still got to hook them up on this end, but uh, just wanted to show you the seat here. So I found this yoga mat at uh, Target, actually. And I am using that as my seat. I overfilled the battery. So I'm just taking a little bit of rope, cotton rope. Snipping it off. Trying to get, uh, trying to get this wicked out. <laughs> kind of working. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant, Paul, brilliant. Oh, well, it's, it's working. What am I doing now? I'm correcting one of many mistakes that I've made. <laughs> I got a new battery, and it was about an eighth inch too wide. So I've got to remake the battery box. Here we go. Well, I hope in the next day or two I'll have this thing out for a test run. Stay tuned!